Hi guys, how are you? Bricks Nostalgia here. Uh, today's video is a follow-up to the previous video I posted a few days ago. And what we're going to be look at, looking at is the second uh, alternate build of uh, this set that you see here. Set 7715 from 1985. Um, as I said already in the previous video, um, there were two alternate builds uh, uh, present to pictures of alternate builds present on the box of the set in the previous video I posted uh, I showed the um, the first alternate build in uh, this video we're gonna show the second one um, for this one the instructions the building instructions the building steps are actually given by the official set and they are present in the instruction manual uh, as you can see, in this case we have uh, a freight train, which is very interesting. It's a very simple build, but it's the concept is very interesting because it gives a very high level of playability because it allows you to switch between passenger and the freight train whenever you feel like. Uh, as you can see, the, sim the build is uh, composed by a locomotive, two cars, and um, a platform and we're gonna move straight to each uh, section of the build because there's not really much to say about it so we're gonna start with the locomotive the locomotive is uh, a shunted locomotive in this case which is a very simple build but uh, very interesting at the same time because it's a completely different concept from uh, the locomotive uh, proposed in uh, the previous two videos which were uh, both uh, steam locomotive there's not really much to say about it um, what i wanted to try to do here was to show you the inner the cabin space uh, inside and uh, as you could see there was only one space for one seat so pretty much 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 more to say i'm gonna remind you that there's no motor under it because this set was a train without motor but very nice very interesting build in any case uh, let's move to the first of the two cars this first car is simply a uh, flat car with uh, made by very few bricks you just have the base with a few bricks uh, on top of it and this uh, load here that is just a simple load made, made of uh, very basic bricks very simple but uh, everything that a seven eight year old child will need to play for hours now we move to this last car that is a bit more interesting because actually what you see over here uh, got me to do a bit of research to try to understand the meaning of it so as you can see it's pretty much a flat car with a couple of loads on it and for the research I did what this seems to be or what this whole wagon seems to be is um, that it's supposed to be a brake van brake spelled as uh, B-R-A-K-E and for what I understood this cabin here um, was a cabin with a manual brake or manual brakes in it that would um, allow the operator to stop the wagons in the in case that for whatever reason they were supposed to detach from the locomotive while the the whole thing was running on trucks that's what i understood i hope that's uh, correct um, not much more to say as you can see the cabin is really really small and there's just very little space to fit a seat for a minifig and there's definitely not much more to say um, it seems that these brake vans were supposed there were two versions of them one where mm, let's say the the whole wagon would be made of the cabin and um, other um, space for the operators and then there was another version that was this one where the cabin was much smaller in order to allow um, space uh, for goods to be put on and probably increase the productivity of the whole thing 
if that's how can I can explain it. Very last thing is the platform that is pretty much exactly the same as the one of the official build. There's just a couple of uh, round bricks here that are replacing some other bricks that were um, used in the official build. But pretty much that's it. So I think pretty much that's it for um, uh, this review. Definitely not much more to say. I'm just gonna um, end the video with a very last consideration which is that um, to build these two alternate builds of this uh, set uh, got me to understand how this set is that this set is um, much nicer than I thought uh, because the level of playability is uh, I realized that the level of playability of this set is much much higher than uh, than I ever thought it was so pretty much that's it guys stay tuned because I'm gonna be posting my many more videos over the next few weeks uh, uh, mainly related to Lego trains okay thank you very much bye bye